within the depths of our existence, an unyielding hold of separation persists, entangled with unsettling emotions such as fear. This intricate illusion weaves its intricate web, obscuring the very essence of our being. But what if I tell you that deep down, you are not merely an individual entity? What if you discover that you are, in fact, everything? Many have embarked on this profound realization, and I hope each one of you can awaken to the undeniable truth that we are all interconnected. This awakening also reveals that the concept of someone else is illusory. Your parents, friends, exes, enemies, they are all reflections of you. They are manifestations of the same consciousness that resides within us all. It's a complex notion for many to grasp, as they continue to compare themselves to their physical bodies, minds, and false identities. Allow me to elaborate, but before this, I request you to close your eyes and envision yourself as a person who stands amid the street of a bustling city. The faces blend into a sea of strangers, and suddenly a moment of realization dawns upon you. You begin to see beyond the surface-level interactions, beyond the labels and judgments, and dive deep into the essence of your being. As you walk, your steps align with the rhythm of life itself. The sounds of car horns and conversations blend harmoniously, no longer separate from your existence. You become aware of the interconnected dance of energy that permeates every atom, every molecule around you. You see a homeless person sitting on a street corner, worn and weathered by the harshness of life's trials. In the past, you may have passed by without a second glance, your separation perpetuating the illusion of otherness. But now, a wave of compassion washes over you, for you recognize that the suffering you witness is an echo of your own struggles. Approaching a bustling cafe, you catch a glimpse of an old friend. Memories flood your mind, the laughter and tears shared the moments of growth and understanding. You smile, not just at the friend, but at the realization that this connection is not simply a chance but a reflection of your own journey. In the embrace of nature, surrounded by towering trees and vibrant flowers, you find solace. You become attuned to the delicate balance of the ecosystem, recognizing that you are not separate from the earth, but an integral part of its intricate web of life. And as the day draws to a close, you gaze at the stars above, marveling at the vastness of the cosmos. You no longer feel small or insignificant, for you understand that the very same stardust that courses through your veins also resides within those distant celestial bodies. At night, as you lay on your bed exhausted, you have the realization to be an active participant in the interconnectedness of all existence. You awaken to the truth that you are not just an individual entity, but an integral thread woven into the fabric of the universe. With this profound realization, you embrace the beauty of unity, transcending the confines of separation and embracing the infinite possibilities of love, compassion, and oneness. Dear Seekers, when I say that you are everything and everything is you and when I say that you and I are the same, I'm not referring to our false selves, the facades we construct. I'm pointing to something far beyond that. I am referring to the core essence of what we truly are, which transcends the limitations of our physical forms. You are not merely the body and mind, you are consciousness itself. Initially, this realization may evoke a sense of loneliness. The idea of being everything and everyone might even appear somewhat disheartening. But that is just a thought, a mental construct. No concept or imagination of the mind can compare to the actual experience of this truth. It is not a solitary feeling. It is expansive and permeated by unconditional love for all because you recognize that you are interconnected with everything and everyone. 
Understand that a single conscious being holds greater strength than a million unconscious ones. Just ponder upon the immense power within that realization. Allow me to recount my personal journey of awakening and realizing my own consciousness. It began with a meditation where I surrendered completely, letting go of all effort and simply allowing everything to be. I embraced the thoughts that emerged without resistance and welcomed the sensations that arose and dissipated. I released the story of my life and the character I believed myself to be, detaching from both the past and future, existing solely in the present moment as pure consciousness. I did not conjure images or sensations of what awakening might look or feel like. I merely existed as nothingness. While remaining in this state, I felt a surge of energy traveling up my spine. Yet I refrained from reacting to it or becoming overly excited. I observed what was transpiring in my body with awareness. Eventually, the energy ascended to my head, generating an uncomfortable sensation, yet strangely, it felt right. It seemed as though something was attempting to burst open within me. Still. I allowed things to unfold naturally. Then, suddenly, it happened. I opened my eyes and erupted into laughter, an uncontrollable, euphoric laughter. Everything became so lucid, so clear. I no longer identified with my body or mind. I could not locate where I existed because that's when the realization struck. I am everything. Stepping outside, the feeling was indescribable. I couldn't stop marveling at my surroundings. I saw others and acknowledged. Wow, that's just me, utilizing another vessel to experience myself. There was no sense of separation because I comprehended that what you are is precisely what I am. It's just that you haven't realized it yet. Now you might be wondering, why knowing this is important, and how does it benefit me? Consider the fear of judgment, for instance. When you recognize that you are conscious, you realize that the character you believed yourself to be was a mere creation of the mind, a phantom that never truly existed. Therefore, it no longer makes sense to take things personally. You grasp that you are not a person, and the personality you fear others will judge is nothing more than an act. It can change at any moment, and you cannot be something that constantly changes. So if someone passes judgment on you, they are merely commenting on your character, a false self speaking about another false self. Their words hold no power over you because you see the truth. When you assume the seed of your true nature, you realize that nothing can truly happen to you. It is impossible. Awareness itself remains untouchable. Even if something were to occur, there would still be an awareness of it. Furthermore, there is no actual person present to judge anything. These individuals believe they are the false self, but the false self is non-existent. It's genuinely hilarious yet profoundly poignant. This insight extends to the fear of rejection as well. Taking things personally becomes nearly impossible. The false self may attempt to create fear, but you see through its deception. If someone rejects you, so be it. It is the false self that believes it is unworthy or inadequate. However, what you truly are encompasses far more than enough. The need to please others diminishes, freeing up a tremendous amount of energy and personal power. It is truly astonishing. There is no longer anyone to appease. You no longer care to become someone for the world or for others. You are liberated, transcending self-imposed limitations. There is no prescribed way to be anymore. If you desire to express anger, you do so. If you want to cry and experience sadness, you allow yourself to feel it. The compulsion to seek acceptance dissipates because, once again, 
You no longer identify with the story of your character. You catch yourself allowing things to be as they are. Even amid the most negative situations, you instinctively seek out the positives within them. Life itself reveals its true nature, a dream, a grand playground for consciousness to explore, create, and experience itself. Please understand that I am not advocating for the abandonment of relationships or the rejection of the human experience. I am not suggesting that you refrain from creating the character you wish to be for this earthly sojourn. The key lies within you. You can do whatever you desire, and inevitably it will stem from a place of love. This journey is awe-inspiring, and my fervent wish is for everyone to taste the profound experience I have had. It seems unjust that so many of us remain blinded by the truth, and yet, it is not our fault. To completely forget our true nature due to the projections imposed upon us by the world, to endure suffering and yearn for escape, and yet, consciously choose to heal and embark on the journey back to our authentic selves, that is power. Reflect upon the life you have lived and see how every person and every situation was merely consciousness, setting the stage for you to one day awaken to your own consciousness. It was you all along. Dear Seekers, I understand there may be gaps in this teaching, as I do not possess all-encompassing knowledge. However, my intentions are pure and positive. I hope that this message has sparked curiosity within you. I welcome your comments and opinions, as I am eager to read different perspectives. Feel free to share what resonates with you or what you disagree with.